Hey, I'm David. This is Hunter. We're on the farm today and we just wanted to show you a little bit about a combine to show you what the machine does and how it works. This is the Case Combine, a K7240 machine. It's about two, two, two to three years old. Um, it's a pretty big machine. It weighs about 20,000 pounds. Uh, these are tracks on the front of the machine and the tracks help it to float on the mud surface so that it doesn't really sink down very much. Mm -hmm. Helps to prevent ruts. This is the header. This header can be removed and you can put on different style headers for corn. And we use this uh, header for soybeans and rice. Uh, this thing right here is called the reel. It spins around and it draws the uh, crop into the machine or onto the header. This is called the sickle bar. And you see these blades, they, these blades go back and forth and that's what cuts the stalk, either the rice or the beans, that's what cuts the stalk off. And the crop then falls on this belt, this rubber belt right here, and that belt draws it to the center of the machine. Once it gets into the center, that reel right there takes it up into the throat of the combine. This is the uh, throat of the machine. The header gathers the crop into the center of itself, and then the uh, crop flows through here into the machine where it begins a threshing operation. And just for showing you, this is this black part is the header, and this is detachable from the red, which is part of the combine. Uh, here we can put a corn header on, or this is a, a draper header for beans and uh, rice. All right, here we're on the side of the machine, and I've removed the doors on the side of the combine, where you can see inside the threshing operation. This is the uh, what you call the rotor, is inside that. Uh, red cage and that, inside the rotor see those big teeth inside there those are what actually thresh the grain and the grain falls through these little bars the grain falls through the bars right there and it goes onto the uh, sifter table and what that does is it shakes back and forth such like that where the um, the straw stays on top of these teeth right here but then the uh, the grain will fall through those little sieves and the grain is separated, that's how the grain is separated from the, uh, the straw. The straw works its way back into the machine, whereas the grain falls through. And the grain is put into a uh, tank up top where uh, it's stored for uh, until we dump the machine. I showed you the uh, sifter table that allows the grain to fall out and the straw to work its way back to the machine. So what happens then is that these, uh, these little things, they throw the straw, once the straw, the straw falls down through here and it throws the straw out over the field. And that straw is, uh, we don't burn our straw, we work that straw back to the ground, whether by disking or just let it sit on top of the ground. And, um, you know, natural processes occur with decomposition and that kind of stuff. Now we're going to go up top uh, to show you what the grain tank looks like and how big it is, and uh, that's where all the clean grain is stored. All right, we're climbing up on top of the machine. That's your engine right there. That's in the back of the machine. Uh, coming on up, and then this is the uh, grain tank or grain hopper. This thing holds about um, 350 bushels or so, maybe a little bit more, and that's that's about 16,000 pounds of rice. So that's a lot of weight on this machine. And that's, you know, that's another reason to have the tracks because with that much weight on the machine, those tires, if you had tires, they'll really cut down in the mud. Whereas the tracks help make your, uh, make your machine kind of float across the, uh, the top of the, the ground. Just to give you some, some perspective on how tall this machine is, this is the top of the machine and I'm standing over the roof looking up, looking out over the roof. Um, these uh, uh, hopper doors, we actually have to fold them down so it'll fit underneath here. This long tube, that's the unloading auger. And what that does is that swings out um, perpendicular to the combine so that the uh, grain can be unloaded onto uh, grain dollies or, or trucks. Here we're in the cab of the machine and this is the operator seat. And this is the buddy seat for kids who like to ride or you know, my dad who wants to see what the crop is looking like. But uh, we have our monitor or basically the computer of the machine that tells you yield, uh, engine load, speed, uh, all your combine settings, and this is your hydrostat right here. This is your control. You've got all your buttons to control your header, to dump your grain, uh, 
but it does everything you need to do. Here you can see the combine in action. We cut around two and a half to three and a half miles an hour. See how the cutter bar is cutting the rice, the reel brings it in, and then it falls in the belt and works its way into the throat of the machine. Here you can see us uh, dumping on the grain dolly. Typically we're out in the rice fields and dumping uh, while moving or unloading on the go. It's just too muddy right now in these rice fields to, uh, to do this. Um, you climb up the ladder, then you open the door, then drag the combine, then the header spins, and when it cuts, Goes down to the black, to the thing when the tractor comes, the dump soaks, then it pours to all over to here. 